Well, it is uh, 17 hours and 28 minutes into the 16th day of July. And once again, we are at another transition point. Uh, these occur uh, quite randomly. I just finished about an hour's worth of gaming and meditation. Uh, I was feeling I was going to go back to bed, but uh, I'm hungry, so I'm going to have something to eat, watch, uh, do some of the YouTube stroll, and make a decision as to what I'm going to do from there on out. I am still doing uh, reorganizing the desktop, reorganizing my um, my notebooks. I'm looking at the storage stuff right now at, at, at uh, what I need for storage. Oh, uh, to the hard drive, hard drive space. I do have a number of files that have number of uh, loose files that have to be organized and, and sort of arranged within the library, but uh, uh, I think things are going rather slowly. Uh, it's the summer, so that's what's happening. Uh, I am answering, uh, for those of you who wonder, I am answering uh, the comments as much as I possibly can. I'm going to try answering them in here. The, whenever there's a question or a comment in the comment section here, you will see uh, the comments here, but we are about a month to two months behind in terms of the uh, where the notes are. So where you're seeing this is two months after you maybe you've done, have sort of uh, posted the comment. But uh, I try to keep up, but it, it depends on how much is on my plate. So uh, we'll see where where things go from here. Well, these segments have been kept short. <laughs> Anyways, it is 18 hours and uh, 40 minutes into the 16th day of July, and I just finished watching a segment of, uh, doing a segment of, uh, uh, of the YouTube stroll. My mind is a little off due to fatigue, but anyways, uh, what I was thinking of, I was watching, I was watching the Yahoo vlogs earlier, this, the, they started off there. I should say, I started off there. I have to pay attention to make sure I don't mumble because of the fatigue. Anyways, uh, they're always, they always end their video with a bit of a message at the end. And a lot of videos have intros and outros, but because my day doesn't have a beginning or an end, uh, the vlog is now continuous, and so I haven't been doing uh, anything, any mention of the yo vlogs and the message of you are worth it. and it basically is a message of of being positive and I don't like using these terms you are worth it or being positive because in many ways they're empty that doesn't describe the struggle to to really see things in a better light than you would uh, if you were, when you're going through something difficult, and even when things aren't necessarily that difficult, sometimes in the uh, uh, state of fatigue, you end up just sort of feeling uh, not quite right, let's <laughs> put it that way. It's not that you're feeling bad, but you're also not feeling good at the same time. Uh, I don't think you always have to be feeling good, it just, sometimes the, the feeling is flat, sometimes there is sort of an attention to things that may be negative or maybe going on that could ugh, cause an issue. But anyways, I said it, it doesn't for, for me. It's it's it, and this is where I start, how I started off. It's not a matter matter of you are worth it. It's just, it doesn't matter whether I'm worth it or not. I'm going to continue moving forward anyways. Because for me, there's nowhere else to go. I mean, even things really, really fall apart, and I ended up having to start all over again. Where, what I do, I'd be doing the same thing I'm doing now. <laughs> so the direction doesn't necessarily change, the, the path doesn't change. I'm on here for life. But anyways, uh, I did finish my lunch. It was a nice lunch. I, I am in a uh, physiological uh, meditation uh, day uh, where you're doing the fasting. And today was uh, the Asian snacks day. It's called Clover Chips. Uh, they are from the Philippines. And uh, they're not a, a potato chip, but a tapioca chip. They're made from uh, tapioca. And I find them very, very tasty. I had the barbecue ones there. Uh, and I have them with uh, my iced tea and uh, bits of chocolate. So 
It's uh, the chip, some chocolate, and the iced tea. Uh, it, it, it went very well together. Uh, it wasn't a lot. But in terms of the flavor and my so-called, what we call the satisfaction, in terms of the flavor and the taste and whatever, it was very satisfying, very happy with what I had. And so, uh, I ended up at the McNeil family. It's the, McNeil family is the sub-path of the after Femi Five Logs. And so, uh, I'm heading off to bed again. Uh, we'll see what happens on the other side. The dreams have been kind of interesting. I haven't been talking about the dreams that much, but they've been interesting. Uh, they're reflecting, they're, they're reflective of the feeling within the summer that, oh, uh, at this point in time, the research really doesn't have a solid uh, uh, direction. It's kind of all over the place, and, and so I don't necessarily know where things are going to end up. Uh, before, you know, you'd, you'd, be, you'd be in a project and you'd, you'd kind of know where things are heading. Ugh. And you had a lot more of a solid grasp on things. Uh, now, in the summer, where things are kind of loose and all over the place, you have no direction as to where you, you There's no real sort of, um, you know, routine to get a hold of. I mean, the Yaya Vlogs and the YouTube show is one of my routines that I do grasp onto. But it's not there sufficiently enough to say, okay, I'm feeling comfortable. I'm back in sort of a situation where I'm somewhat moving forward, but at the same time, because you're doing repairs to the ship, you're kind of at a standstill. You're kind of just floating along. You're not really pushing as hard as you, as hard as you can because... You have to upgrade the ship to the next level in order to get anything significant. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm doing rearranging in the library. That's doing cataloging, doing indexing and cross-indexing. This is more what I call the mundane library work. That's what I'm doing right now. It's needed so that when you move forward in September, start moving again in September, uh, there's a lot more room to bring new things in. And in other words, you, when you're going out and you're bringing things in, you're doing the exploration... There's no real organization. You bring it in, you plop it down, wherever empty space you have, and you sit it there. You keep doing that. You go out again, you bring more stuff in. You, you plop it down, you go out again, get some more stuff. And so every once in a while, this is where the breaks come in. Typically, uh, the Christmas break from from uh, December to February, that's two months there. I have two months of reorganization to bring, take uh, all the stuff that I have brought in that's sort of just lying around in chunks reorganize it, get somewhat into the library, and then go back out again uh, starting in February, and then uh, beginning in June uh, to August, is to, again, it's, the, it's three months there, uh, June, July, and August to September, you're back to school again. Three months of reorganization and upgrades, and that's kind of how things are working out. That's the sort of overall pattern. And uh, sometimes in the summer... Uh, it's that summer feeling that it's in the midsummer, things are kind of quiet, they're kind of slow, and you're just simply doing the mundane work. The things aren't really sort of moving along the way they should. Even though I finished some pretty major projects in terms of airflow and airflow in, in the the called the environmental system that, that controls the, the the quality of air, that's significantly better. And that was a project I did uh, over June and somewhat into July. And that's fine. The scooting is doing well. Uh, it did, but at the same time, you have now that those pro major projects are over, uh, you have some in between time that where where things seem kind of blah. Anyways, uh, I'm off to the next point, and I will see you in the next transition period. Well, it is 11 o'clock, uh, 23 hours into the 16th day of July, and I'm transitioning. Uh, I was uh, uh, watching some YouTube, I was on the YouTube stroll watching uh, uh, so Ella Catherine. She's on the Family Five, Family Five uh, uh, subpath. I found her under there. Basically, when I go to a, sometimes I got on my main path, how I create the subpath is there are suggestions on the side, and when I find 
one under that, that uh, under the under the path I was on to re- re- find a recommend that was good or a suggestion that was good, I put it under that uh, path as part of the sub path, and that's how I sort of created my sub path. So I have the main path, and then I have the sub path, and I create the sub path based either on the area there that the that the, the, the vloggers and the YouTube channel is in. Uh, Clintus is more of a topic. This uh, created the, the Clintus uh, 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 subpath when he was RVing. He was uh, they were going up doing RVing a lot. Oh. So I put a lot of the RV channels under Clintus, and so Clintus is more of the RV R, RV type of uh, uh, content. I have some other sub content in there, but I haven't uh, gone through and sort of cleared it out and sort of uh, built. Uh, another sub path based on some of the stuff that ended up in there, but sh- shouldn't necess- shouldn't be in there. So, uh, anyways, uh, I'm offloading data but, uh, on the network again. I'm sort of uh, reorganizing, re-indexing things. Uh, now that I've got the uh, the network more or less squared away, I do have to replace the router. That hasn't been done yet. I might do that sometime either over the weekend or. Uh, Sometime next week. I don't really know when. But right now I'm off to do some gaming. I'm going to make some more iced tea. Uh, because I go through it quite a bit. I go through... Uh, I make 3.5 liters at a time. I go through it within about four days. I go through uh, the 3.5 liters. So I have to do that uh, just about... Uh, every four days I have to make a new batch of tea. And, uh, but it doesn't cost much. It doesn't, it doesn't cost much at all. So... Uh, that's not really much of an issue. So, we're off, and um, I'll see you probably the next transition when I come back here again. Uh, I still haven't cleared enough room off my phone yet. I still have a backlog of editing to do. I'm trying to get that caught up, but I'm still behind because of the, the, it's because of the file organization that still has to go on. I have to offload. There's an enormous amount of data on here, and some of the other other devices as well that I use as, as, as devices, not simply as phones, uh, that has to be offloaded. It has to be sort of cleaned up uh, before I can move forward with other projects. So that's what's going on there. Uh, let me just fix this up a little bit here. There we go. Better. Well, it's just about uh, two hours and 25 minutes in. Into the 19th day of uh, Jan- uh, July, not January. I don't know, I'm saying January, but anyways. We do have a package opening. Mm. I've been meaning to vlog during the transitions, but I haven't had the opportunity to do so. I've been taking extra time sleeping, so I have a feeling I know what this is. This should be a set of uh, modem of of uh, uh yeah not modem uh, routers. These are going to be four G LTE routers. We have to snip this on the way down, and here we go. Two of them. Here we go. This is the router that I got. Uh, I have a new so I said I was switching over. One is going to be for my office up north, uh, for my place up north. It's in a small village in the wilderness, and uh, this will connect me uh, to the service. Uh, so I'll have full internet up there, and. Uh, uh, yay for that. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be heading out in a bit. I'll probably come back later on tonight, right before we do the uh, the YouTube stroll. I've been getting through this YouTube stroll pretty well, but uh, I'll talk more about that uh, when I get back later on tonight, right before I start the YouTube stroll. We'll have a bit of a transition talk, and... Uh, move from there on out. 
Well, at uh, 341 in the morning, it's 3 hours and 41 minutes into the uh, 20th day of July, I really don't have that much to say. We are transitioning from uh, the YouTube stroll to bed. Although I'm not exactly tired. I was fatigued, fatigued for most of the day, but just... Uh, I don't know about now. <laughs> kind of the thing. Um, it's been a bizarre day because I spent most of the day working on the 4G, uh, the 4G router. Uh, the, the tower, the cell tower sees it, but it can't log into the tower. So, uh, I think I'm going to have to call Bell and my, my, my provider and see, uh, what's up and, uh, how we can sort of get the, this device access to the tower. Because it can see the tower, it can log, it, it should be able to log into the tower, but it's not logging into the tower. There may, there may be an issue with the SIM card, so uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, what the issue is, so uh, I've got a little bit more fixing up to do tomorrow in terms of how I'm going to do uh, the work for Bell in terms of doing the troubleshooting. <clears throat> so I probably won't get to the actual troubleshooting until Wednesday. Uh, but it took a good four hour chunk of my day, so uh, that's how things go sometimes, and it leaves you in a state where, where you're doing a lot of uh, sort of more focused work. It leaves you in a sort of a state that, um, well, it's, it's more of an introverted state where you don't have the conversation that is supposed to be there. It just simply isn't. And this is sort of the situation that's now. So, well, well this is a uh, two-minute segment <laughs> or thereabouts. Well, it is the 21st of July. It is three, three hours and 30 minutes into the day. And this is a refueling trans transition. I have been sort of going through a bit of a crash, and so I am now ref refueling. That's what this transition is. Uh, the dreams have been, again, rather interesting. They, 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 they line up along the various different types of life experiences that one could have. Uh, and so that they, they do behave as an experience for me. I can experience things uh, that I wouldn't ordinarily experience if, in well, in other manners in terms of being awake. Uh, I can experience being other people, other things. In other words, I get to walk a mile in other people's shoes and sort of figure out well, if I was in that situation, what would I do? You know, how do I handle, you know, X, Y, and Z? And this is a large chunk of what the dreams are. Uh, there is always an element of exploration in there, so. Uh, but it's all, as I said before, it's, it's typically about, about my behavior. How do you behave given the situation that you're in? And understanding this, is, it becomes, this becomes sort of a, a period of work, if you you know, because it's research, it's observation, uh, that you wouldn't ordinarily have if you weren't aware of what was going on. Uh, but mainly, a lot of people live live life in a very passive manner. They 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 don't participate in much of anything in terms of actually thinking about uh, how things go. It, it, they're simply there and. They follow along, and this is what trad, uh, uh, trends and fads are. People follow along with other people. They behave, behave like, like sheep, like herded animals. They follow the flock. They follow the herd. And this is in the pandemic when you talk about masks or, or anything. Uh, fidget spinners, and uh, now they have these new fidget uh, uh, sort of bubble pop type of, type of things. It's, but it, 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 people will spend their money on the it, Apple iPhone. The Apple iPhone is nothing more than, than uh, fad and trend, and there's really nothing there to it that sort of would say, "Okay, I'm going to go with Apple uh, Apple over, let's say, a cheaper Android." Uh, there is no functionality. I mean, I use my phones, and they're not Apple. I or they're they're what we call Chinese knockoffs, but they function. And as long as the function works. For what they what they need to be doing, in terms of the actual functions that I need to get done on a daily basis, then that's okay. Because typically I would be spending a lot more money 
uh, I mean, fifteen hundred dollars on a laptop rather than, you know, three hundred dollars or, or less, uh, on a phone. So I, I I think, you know, understanding where you are in certain things, uh, definitely is a benefit, and, and I think. Uh, Lionel has to sort of come to the realization is that okay, yeah, there are things that are going on in the world that aren't nice, but you got to find your place in it, and then work from there on out. And that's sort of the I guess you, 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 that's your key to happiness. And so right now my happiness is milk tea. Uh, I've got a bit of uh, Middle Eastern bread. Uh, I've got some. I'm going to finish off the uh, uh, tapioca chips, and I've got some uh, Tootsie Rolls, and so on to uh, the YouTube stroll. Well, it's just about an hour later at uh, 4.40, uh, four hours and 40 minutes into the uh, 21st day of July, and this transition period of being up is short. I'm going to go do some gaming. I just finished watching... I finished most of the YouTube stroll, the main the main path. I have the sub paths now. Uh, my body is just not feeling that well, so I, it, it's a signal that I need to go back and rest. Although I did get some uh, some stuff done, so just a minor amount of work done. What I am noticing, though, is, is uh, in addition to some of the experiences that... Uh, other vloggers have in terms of how they, their life goes, and so that adds to my library of experiences. Uh, I noticed that the uh, view count is off. I don't know whether it's the summer or, or YouTube is back to this old thing again, uh, uh, the new algorithm, which sort of knocks off the family channel. So and that that that's how. See, well, th th this is the whole UHF VHF uh, thing again, is that when the UHF came around. Mm. Uh, the major uh, networks had a hard time, and but they eventually rallied and one by one put all the UHF channels out of business or bought them out. And this is what's happening to YouTube: is uh, one by one they're taking people who will take viewership away from their TVs. And the, and the, well, why are they after the family channels? Why do they go after the family channels? Because if the families are watching YouTube, right, and having their kids watch YouTube. Who's going to watch Disney Plus? Who's going to watch Nick Plus? There's a number of kids' channels that are streaming on now that uh, they need to sell. And if uh, people are watching YouTube, uh, that's not going to sell. It's, 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 that, it's that simple. It's, it's, it's about competition. It's, again, the small guy versus the big guy. But the thing is, the big guy uh, can't produce the uh, quantity of stuff. We need sometimes the quality of stuff. Uh, that uh, a small guy can. It, 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 it's it, it's a bizarre thing. What people like is not necessarily, <laughs> and this is you have to have to understand the history of cult classics. And these are all the cult classics are all B movies. They're they're all sort of less than good quality, but they were so bad that they became good. That, that this is what made them cult classics, and. <laughs> This is the same, the same thing is going to be true of YouTube. YouTube will leave its legacy because it, it, you will have producers there who will produce things that just simply uh, couldn't have been done uh, in the major environment. It, it just wouldn't have flown. You, could, you couldn't get approval to do the project. You couldn't get someone to produce the project. But uh, in a small budget uh, YouTube studio, look, that's not... An, that's not really an issue, so uh, we'll see how the YouTube ends up going. But uh, we'll see what happens. It may also be the summer. A lot of people are off camping now. They'll be watching. They're all off on their camping trips. I'm going to do my camping bit uh, at the end of the month, or you'll see me again up at my trailer at the Village of Prophet Elias, and uh, that's where my second research facility is. I'm still working on the 4G Wi-Fi router. Uh, I don't know if that's going to end up working out. All right, we'll see what happens. I, I, I'm seeing the tower. I just can't log into the tower, even though I've purchased a SIM card. So uh, I have to sort of figure out what's going on. Anyways, uh, I will see you uh, in the uh, in the next 
uh, transition point. I'm going to do some gaming now and then uh, head on back to bed uh, to let my boss, body rest up. For me. There, there's something wrong with my left eye. I noticed that there's a big uh, uh, burst uh, uh, eye vessel, so we'll, we'll uh, blood uh, uh, blood vessel in the eye. So that is going to have to rest up. That's going to have to be the issue for today, and it's going to certainly put a um, it's going to hobble a large chunk of uh, the schedule. So I'll have to seriously pull back on what I'm going to be doing. So uh, I'll see you uh, in the next transition point. Well, we are at our next transition point. It is uh, 15 hours and 8 minutes mm, into the 21st day of July 2021. And uh, we're just getting going. I've been up for a bit, uh, but it does take me a while to sort of uh, check everything I need to check. Sort of, you know, check the air, con check the air system, check... Uh, the kitchen to see me make sure that uh, the I haven't left anything from the night before or or the period before has to say a night before it wasn't necessarily a night before but <laughs> uh, that's what happens is that the, the day kind of disappears uh, I do have more stuff on the uh, on the uh, uh, schedule for this transition period uh, I do have to work on the uh, 4G Wi-Fi router today. I just to do some note taking, uh, jot down some of the specifications before I go uh, to tech support and uh, try to try to troubleshoot for that. You have to have a certain level of knowledge in terms of uh, what your systems are and, and where the problems could be beforehand, so that you do a checklist of where the potential issues would be, and then you go from there on out. So, uh. I think I'm going to uh, sort of do that today. Uh, I have some more testing to do on the expanded uh, storage network. And, uh, and otherwise, today is, is going to be primarily just uh, well, doing the YouTube stroll and seeing what I can get out of that. And I have some uh, breakfast with me, the next transition point. Which is again, as the milk tea, it's the uh, these chips. I have these chips are good as well. I like these in terms of a corn chip. This is what I like. This is what I typically have. Ugh. And I have a hard boiled egg. So that's that's basically that's basically dinner, or should I say lunch or breakfast or however you want. So this is it. I use the I use these. Uh, nice Asian dishes here. These are rectangular. That's what I do to eat. This is what I use to eat. <laughs> a bit of decoration. So that's uh, sort of my Kauai tea house. I have a uh, small uh, stool here that acts as a uh, side table or, or, or a table. So this is uh, seating for one. A little table for one. <laughs> <laughs> the Kauai Tea House. Anyways, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, uh, probably midway through the uh, YouTube stroll. See, tell you, let you know what's uh, sort of been going on.